is February 28th and uh, I've had a good load of lumber inside the, uh, the kiln since December 15th. I've been checking the moisture levels once a week and they've been slowly uh, improving. Although the last week or so we've had several really sunny days and where it's been like 35 to 40 degrees outside and over 100 degrees in the kiln. So we will go check on that now. All right, so I uh, opened up the kiln and I have a couple of oak, white oak boards here. And uh, somebody had commented that um, I could make improvements by putting eye bolts at the bottom here so I can strap the wood down. But you'll notice that I have pieces of granite remnants from countertops here, very heavy. And I also, on the top here, I have some pieces that I painted black. And so that if they get any sunlight, they will uh, get really hot. So I, I did some moisture readings. And um, let's see what we have here. I mean, it's not 7 6.7% in the middle of that pile. There's some white oak right here. Come on, baby. 7.9% over here. 11.3%. So that's the end. So that still needs a little time, but I think I'm going to take the uh, white oak boards out and um, I need to make some runners for a rocking chair that I made um, that got shipped and the runners broke, which I will, uh, I'm going to post a bunch of photos of how I put, made, how I built the rocking chair. And, um, and then I'll also take note of uh, when I'm making the new runners. Anyway, over and out. This is a brief update on my wood kiln. It seems to be working great. I have the vents closed because we had some uh, snow and rain the last couple days, and I think there's going to be rain tonight too. So I will reopen them when, uh, when the weather changes and it gets sunny again. Over and out. So I just partially milled two of the oak white oak boards that I took out of the kiln and uh, cut the bark off the edges. I'm gonna go uh, joint and plane them. This is the uh, second board, or the first one I actually diced up. And uh, I'm anxious to joint them and plane them and see what they look like once they're nice and clear. So I uh, cut this into a board. I took this one, I jointed it and planed it. The, the wood is beautiful. It's definitely drying with some cracks in it. And then this piece looks great. This is the one I want to use to make the uh, rocking chair runners out of. However, once I got into the wood, I discovered that the moisture content is still around 13 to 14%. So this is going back in the kiln, but at least I've started uh, dimensioning it so that uh, I'll be able to use it shortly. Alrighty, I'm a little bummed out, but such is life, and I did hear and read about how difficult it is to dry oak, and I can see why it really wants to check all the way through. So we'll see what happens with this in time.